Alrighty guys, welcome back to Arc Aberration, and today we're going to be working on the farm. Okay, so I did technically did start working on it. So it did get me another one of these Z plants going, so that way this area over here is lit up. And I went and placed down this little foundation here, and I got these three guys down. Now, we do got this guy collecting all the poop he can from out the base i already checked he should reach everywhere so we're not gonna set up a fiomia uh farm at all where we get poop from that so we're just gonna rely on the poop that is generated by the egg farm and the other creatures i have lying around the base so i've somewhat figured out what we're gonna do for an egg farm Still not 100% on it, but we're going to go try it. Um, we also got this one here, so that way we can just run to this place. All our crops will be gathered up here by her. So that's what we're going to be setting up today, is we're going to be setting up some compost bins and the crops. And then next up, the next couple episodes here, we'll be setting up the egg farm. So, let's get on to the crops. First off, we got to get ourselves the... What is it? Boo! Fertilizer going. So we gotta get these compost bins down. I could not remember that for a second. I really could not. So we're gonna just do this here. I got six foundations. So we're just gonna do a simple foundation structure here. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna close off two sides with, or three sides with walls. Like so. And boom. Now, we're going to want to put up the ramps in these wall, these, yeah, finish off the walls with these triangle pieces. So these ramps are just going to go here, try and get them even. This is just so that way I don't have to jump, I can just run up it. Now, boom, 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 boom. And what else we got? We do got the wooden roofs, and then we do got four compost bins. So we're gonna put up the roofs like so. Come on. Come on. Snap. 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 There we go. It looks a little wonky getting out, but should be fine. Uh oh, I should probably have done no. I think, you know what? It's probably fine just the way it is. Okay, you know what we could do? I could go get me two more compost bins. There we go. Just so that way it's all even. And now, do I got... Yeah, I got multi-lamps up here. And yes, I am using a cinema crops to get around today. I did bring mine that I had last episode over with me. Okay, do I got any... I know I have some leftover multi-lamps. There we go. I only got two. Alright, uh... This might just be because I don't have a plant near it yet, so we're going to have it on brightness 1. But we are going to have it set to be on constantly. There we go, it's powered. Here we go. Whoop. Change settings. Boom. Change this to a 1. Update. Ah! I hit wrong button. There we go. Now we can turn it on. And voila! Compost station has been set up. Now, are you depositing? You're supposed to be dis distributing poop. All right. Uh, you're distributing poop. I think. Uh, yep. 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 It's gonna take a hot second. So. What I'm going to do here is I think if I take my mining laser up to a bunch of trees, I should get a bunch of thatch from it. And we can load that up into the compost bins. Okay, so I don't want to chew up all the trees in my base because I kind of like some of them. So we're going to go up here and we're going to chew up all these trees. Now, I don't have any, uh, what is it, glow pet with me. So hopefully we don't get attacked. Do you look at that? We get a bunch of thatch. That's awesome. We can just do this. Laser. Get all the thatch we want. I'm running low on water. Just 
just don't want to get attacked by any nameless. But you know what? I think those couple trees should do it. We'll eat, divvy it up here. About probably thousand each. I think I only got about six thousand thatch. So I'm divvying up the thatch now. Like I'm gonna do this probably in a stupid way. So now I got these two left. Now if I split half, split half, and then I'll just split half of them again. And we'll throw them all back in. It's gonna take forever. Alrighty guys, so I did just finish off what I believe to be my roll rats. I hope I got their colors balanced as well. I'm about to check here if I got cryopods on me. Do I got a cryopod on me? I do not. I'll check that later, actually. But, I also, this is just a quick, quick break. Because I'm running over here to check on everything. Ew, I forgot about one of them. Looks like it starved. Okay, but anyways, looks like my eggs are ready to hatch here. I got all the jug bugs balanced out. They just need to be, like, raised up now. I got one of each gender. Well, yeah. I got a breeding pair of each. Let's put it that way. Um, I just don't know. You know what? I can hatch them now. You know what? Let's hatch them. Because then they'll be grown up by the time I'm done with this episode. And here they are. So I wanted to kind of wait and make sure that they're all eating out of the the feeding trough from up there. I might want to move the feeding trough a little bit closer because, like, back here on this third row, like, nothing's eating. Well, I guess maybe I was wrong. You know what? They might have been too young. They might have been before they could eat out the trough when I checked. So I might have been off. So, anyways, I've been kind of thinking on what we're going to do because we need the poop for the farm. Because, honestly, I, I don't think we're getting... A whole lot at all so what we might be doing is we might start putting up some of the smaller egg farms so that way we got some creatures sitting around producing egg or eggs and poop so i was thinking we go up in here i already got my crop plot placed down i just have to get it all hosed up what like all that i do got some flexible pipe on me don't i i don't Okay, let's hope this is enough pipe to get us there. Go boom. And then we're going to just go as straight as we possibly can. I hit the wrong button. Okay, here we go. Should be the last couple. Oh, come on. Does that really not work? There it is. Okay, now this needs that got the seed. It just needs some poop. Uh, hopefully he has some in his inventory and it hasn't been distributed out yet. Do you? No. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna unload one of these guys. I'm gonna take this feed and chops poop. Now these six large poops should help it kickstart. These should last it quite a bit as well. There we go. 9,000. Yeah. That should help the plant get up and grown. So we got that one over there. It reaches to about here. So that one's going to fill this up. So we're going to need another one probably about here by this rock. And that would be just to keep everything at, for out. I actually have not even seen a nameless in here at all. So wondering if they if they're even in this area yet <laughs> now my question is, is did this plant sprout up over here yet no because i never gave it poop either uh may as well go empty another one and there it is it's got all its poop now so that should trigger the plant to grow correct yeah it's got a seed there we go that's what i was waiting for so that should be another one that sprouts up, and that should light up the base even more. Honestly, like, these do actually light the place up a bit, so I'm wondering. Like, again, this does add, like, a bit more light, so it's a lot brighter in here. So I might keep them doing that where it's, like, the brightness one, 
just so that way like there's further areas the further corners like over there like i would put some lights over there uh up in my shed definitely because i don't have any of those plants up there i might put one up there just in case you know or i might just mount a plant species x on top of it and, or was it plant species yeah plant species x the turret one and just let it go ham on everything that passes by Okay, so I retook a look at my list, and for my first two creatures, I legit have Featherlight and Glowtail. Um, I don't have either of those yet. Those are the last two shoulder pets I need as well. So what we might do is we might just keep with the farm for now. Because I'll do it over here. Like, see? There's a Karakos right on the other side of my wall. It's exactly what that wall's there to keep out as well as those giant crabs. Just so that way we're not infested with them. This place would probably be overrun if they were in here. Okay, so I got my foundations here for my greenhouses. Now, I think I got a pretty good idea on where I want them. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to place this as close to that crop plot as we can. Then boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Yep. I was wondering what was going wrong there. It was just me. There we go. And then now we'll fill this out where it's a six by two. Or a three by two. Sorry. Six foundations. I can't remember this half the time. So it's going to be quite similar to the one that we had on Scorched Earth. But what we're going to do here is we're just going to have this gap here in the middle. Then what we're going to do is angle the roofs, and we're going to have an entrance here. Like, we're going from here. Right? Like so, we're just going to place the ramps, and then we're going to switch them over to stairs. Like that. That looks good. And then, I'm going to need some greenhouse walls. Okay, now I believe I got everything I should need here to finish this structure so those are our doors we're gonna leave them on automatic of course um now we're gonna place down the walls here for this one first sorry i was trying not to sneeze on mike but i was about to sneeze all over my mic <laughs> so that was ah uh, head rush all right anyways what is that brightness i think that's caused by the plant so what we're going to do is we're going to put these up like so. I might be short on walls. I am. So that's not good. What we're going to do is these and then how, how many more do I need? I need five, five, ten, sixteen. Now I'm hoping here that this all works. Or I'm about to look stupid here in about five minutes when I get this stuff done. Now, my math was correct. I did only need 16 pain. So in total, I had 18 now plus 16. That would be about 34, I believe, if I'm doing my math correctly. So, if you guys want to copy that, 34, then it's... Yeah, you guys can figure out the rest. I've had it all hot barred. The only ones that were off of the, the walls... I am not going to try and do math right now. My head hurts. But anyways, here we go. Those look like two greenhouses, don't they? Yeah, they look like greenhouses. Now, seeing how that plant is going to be right in the middle of them, I am not going to light these guys up. I might... Midding. That, right, that's like the... There's like two more stages before they're in the fruiting these guys take a couple of minutes. I think it like takes an hour for one of those to pop up for me. So it shouldn't be too much longer. But these look like actual greenhouses. I love them. Hey, there we go. It just sprouted. Now we got light. I got the wrong corner on this. I think I want corner D. Yep. Now on this one, we want module A, B. It's D. No, it's C. Okay. Now I got me a little bit of a problem. That is, uh... 
can't get in and out the door with the crop plot there. Like, it blocks me, like, from actually entering the building. Okay, and the only solution I kind of figured out was this. So we're going to pop in some windows. Or some doors. And then... Right, that opened up when I came in. Okay. Now, what if I do this? Now I swap you over to your corner. Let's see. There we go. Yep. Doors are open. We can get in and out of them. That's nice. So I will rinse and repeat and do that all over here with the crop plots. And voila. This one now has its dirt on it. And it does look like there is a greenhouse effect. So these were not pointless. So the greenhouses still do work. Um, In terms of lighting. Again, yeah, they're right next to that plant. I'm not going to worry about the lighting. Like, it's... Like, they're fairly bright and nice in here. Like, it looks natural. Uh, I will not light that up. Like, this, these are good. Um, I'm gonna hold off on putting in seeds as well until there's fertilizer, like, being actually produced. Because I don't feel like we got a whole lot here. We don't. We got one fertilizer produced so far. And probably four of these? Yeah. We got four, uh fertilizer these ones are filling up these ones are filling up yeah so we got four fertilizer uh have you been distributed at all nope no fertilizer has been distributed out uh these are all still good so these guys are working i wonder uh i want to put a building up around these guys before we quit this episode and there we are it is the simplest structure ever it's legit just a triangle base. I, I have the triangle foundations. I might put some stuff on the inside, you know, make it look like an actual, like, worker's area. We're going to keep the doors automatic, of course. But should I do that light in here? Do I even have it on me? I don't. Do I? Okay, from right there, I just whistled all to follow. That would have been bad.